Hello children, welcome back to the new session. Okay, in previous session what we have discussed children about the perimeter. Do you remember children the definition of perimeter? What is that? Sum of the lengths of all the sides. In the given figure how many sides we have? Those all the sides we are adding means we can get the perimeter. Yes children. Now we have so many shapes now children. One of the shapes rectangle. Okay, what is the importance of rectangle children? Rectangle, in rectangle opposite sides are equal. Okay, yes children. So, how can we find the perimeter of a rectangle? Okay, perimeter of a rectangle. Yes, perimeter of a rectangle. So, This is the rectangle figure. Yes. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. So, we have length and breadth. So, this is the length. This is the length means it is also length only. Okay. So, this is the breadth or width. Okay. Yes. So, length, breadth we have children. So, perimeter, we know. How can you find the perimeter? Sum of the lengths of all the sides. Good. So, perimeter is equal to AB. Four sides we have now. That four sides we can add. Add AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. DA. Okay. So, AB. AB how much children? L plus BC B. CD L plus DA B. Okay. So, all the sides we have taken. Now, L plus L. So, how many L's we have children? Two L's. So, L plus L, two L. Okay. Next. B, B. Two B's we have. So, 2B. 2L plus 2B. Okay. Next. Here 2L, here 2B. So, what is the common term here children? Here 2L, here 2B. L is different. B is different. But in these two terms, 2 is the common. Yes or no? Yes. So, that 2 we can take as common. Okay, so, L, 2 already we have taken common, no? So, remaining in this term, L plus, here also, in this term also, 2 we have taken common, no? So, what is the remaining term? B. Okay, so, what is the remaining children? See, 2, there is no symbol children in between the bracket and the number. So, there is a multiplication. Okay, so, 2 into L plus B, we can write into or no need to write children. But there is a multiplication in between two brackets or one bracket and the number. There is a multiplication symbol. So, what is the formula children? P is equal to 2 into L plus B. What is this children? Perimeter of a rectangle. Okay. But, why we have... Uh, we have learned this formula children. See, suppose like this rectangle they have given. 5 centimeters, 2 centimeters. Okay, so this is the rectangle figure. So, we can find the perimeter. How can you find children? Sum of the lengths of all the sides. So, 5 plus, 2 plus, 5 plus, 2. Okay, 4 sides we are adding means we get the perimeter. Yes or no? Yes. But easy way, the other way also we can use. We can use the formula also children. See, directly we can write 2 into L plus B. Directly we can find, no? Yes. So, by formula also we can find the perimeter. Okay. Just two problems we will discuss children.
what is the perimeter of a rectangle 2 into l plus b okay yes first problem find the perimeter of a rectangle the perimeter of a rectangle sorry rectangular field rectangular field which is which is 36 meters long and 24 meters wide okay so find the perimeter of a rectangular field which is 36 meters long and 24 meters wide okay so rectangular field they have given children that rectangular field measurements also they have given we have for the rectangular field length and breadth so that measurements also they have given what we have to find perimeter so this is the statement problem for any statement problem what we are writing children first data data means information whatever the information in the question that is only data so what they have given rectangular field so we can draw the figure rectangular field very good so rectangular field which is 36 meters long 36 meters long that means length okay and 24 meters wide 24 meters wide okay so four sides we know rectangular a b c d we can take any letters children okay yes so whatever they have given first we can write solution length length of the rectangular field what is that l is equal to 36 meters next breadth of the rectangular field is equal to 24 meters okay yes children so whatever they have given first we can write what we have to find then we can write what we have to find perimeter perimeter so for any statement problem first data we can write next what we have to find we can write children yes so rectangular field perimeter of a rectangle we know the formula children what is the formula perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into l plus b so we can use that formula here so perimeter of a rectangular perimeter of a rectangular field that means rectangle is equal to 2 into l plus b 2 into l plus b so 2 into l length how much children see 36 meters plus what is the breadth 24 meters so instead of length we substituted 36 meters instead of breadth we substituted 24 meters what are the length and breadth we have substituted children okay now first in between the brackets what do we have that operation we have to finish children so in between the brackets okay before the bracket we have two so first don't go here children first in between the brackets what do we have that operation we have to do so 36 meters plus 24 meters how much children 36 meters 24 meters 30 20 50 6 plus 4 10 so 50 plus 10 60 so 2 into 60 meters okay so 2 into 60 meters that means see children 60 meters 2 in between we have multiplication so we can multiply 2 into 60 easy multiplication see children 2 6 12 1 0 that means 120 meters 120 meters okay this is the perimeter children suppose here we have used formula 
Yes or no? Yes. 2 into L plus B formula we have used children. We get 120 meters. Suppose without formula just we will check children. See. Yes. Without formula. So A B plus B C plus C D plus D A. Okay. What is the A B? 36 meters plus 24 meters plus 36 meters plus 24 meters. See children. 30, 20, 30, 20. So 30, 20, 50, 30, 20, 50. Extra we have 6, 4, 10. 6, 4, 10. 10 plus 10, 20. Easy addition just I am explaining here children. Okay, so 30, 20, 50. 30, 20, 50. 50 plus 50, 100. 6 plus 4, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. So 2 tens, 20. That means 120 meters. So without formula also we get 120 meters only. With formula also we get 120 meters only. So anyway we can find perimeter children. Okay. Yes. I hope you understand children. Next, the other problem also just we will discuss children. Yes. Next problem children. Same perimeter of a rectangle only we will discuss. So, find Perimeter of a rectangular box, rectangular box, rectangular box, which is ten meters length and 3 meters width. 10 meters length and 3 meters width. So we can find the perimeter. So rectangular box they have given. So A, B, C, D. So what length they have given children? 10 meters length width 3 meters. Okay, so what they have given first data we can write. Length, length is equal to 10 meters. Width, width or breadth children, anything we can take is equal to 3 meters. Okay, so perimeter we have to find. So perimeter of a rectangular, perimeter of a rectangular box. Rectangle is equal to, what is the formula children? 2 into L plus B. 2 into L plus B. So, 2 into L. What is the L? 10 meters plus 3 meters. Okay. So, first in between the brackets, what do we have? That operation. 10 plus 3, 13 meters. 13 Meter. So, 2 into 13, that means 26 meters. So, what is the perimeter children? 26 meters. Without formula, see? 3, 10 meters. Okay, 10 plus 3, 13. 10 plus 3, 13. 13 plus 13, 26 meters only. So, anyway, we can get the same children. So, in this session, what we have discussed children? Perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, formula we discussed children. What is the formula? 2 into L plus B. Small assignment for you children.
first one length is equal to 15 centimeters breadth is equal to 5 centimeters the second problem length is equal to 22 meters breadth is equal to 10 meters okay so here are two problems i have given children i hope you understand clearly nature of a rectangle thank you children Thank you.